Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hyatt Regency DFW 13th floor. We are currently facing the west runways, different than last time we were here, facing east. I'm going to go ahead and close this door because not only is it very hot outside, but we also can't hear any aviation, sadly. Um, Airliners International was this weekend, and as you can see, I got an absolute haul of models here. Well, these two right here came from the American Airlines Museum, but we'll get into that. Um, I also picked up a few additional souvenirs. These are Ozark Airlines times Pan Am cargo route maps. Um, I will show that off probably at the end. Got a couple of glasses and mugs as well. This is just a bourbon glass branded from Sabina. I got two of these identical coffee mugs. They're Aeromexico coffee mugs commemorating in a, the inaugural flight between Houston and I, Ixtapa. I don't want to I don't want to pronounce that wrong. Uh, but yeah, that that city in uh, in Mexico on December 1st, 1979. So these are old coffee cups. I got two of these as well. Uh, I meant to, that's the other Aeromexico one. I meant to unwrap the piece I got from the American Airlines Museum. It's an American Airlines coffee mug. But that's just the non-aviation, or, yeah, well. Um, that is the non-model things that I got at Airliners International this year. If you guys are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, or if you guys will be in the Dallas-Fort Worth area on April 20th, 2024, the 34th annual DFW Airliners Collectible Show, which is the local show, not nearly as big as Airliners International, of course, but uh, I think uh, I think there's going to be like 50 or 60 tables there, so maybe about a fifth of the size of Airliners International, but still super cool, really good opportunity to get all sorts of aviation-related stuff. If you guys are interested, I can put the uh, I will put the website. Uh, for this convention down in the description below. Let's not waste much more time. Let's dive into the absolute haul of models we purchased this weekend. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So we finished off this weekend with 11 new aircraft added to the collection. Uh, quite the haul. The entire total of what you see here was well over, well over five hundred dollars, uh, somewhere in, in that range. Uh, that's just what our hobby costs, and that's the easiest way to say it. So really quickly, I'm gonna pull these two out. We will go over those first. These are just the, these are the nine models that I got at the, at the Airlines International Convention, and then I went to the. American Airlines Museum with my family, just because it's literally right next to DFW Airport. So we'll quickly slide all those aside. We'll go over all those in a little bit. Let's start off here with the American Airlines Airbus A320. Picked this up. Let's get right into this Airbus A320. For those of you who do not know, the American Airlines Museum, which is located at American Airlines Corporate Headquarters, is literally just on the southwest side of DFW Airport. So if you ever fly into DFW, the museum is only open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday uh, during the afternoon and late morning. So they have very limited hours, but... If y'all ever find yourselves flying into Dallas or in Dallas, I highly recommend checking it out. It's very cool. There's tons of history on American Airlines, and, of course, they do sell model aircraft there, not just Gemini jets. It's absolutely gorgeous American A320 with wingtips. Very, very gorgeous aircraft that we picked up from there. Next up right here, we have the American Airbus A319 with sharklets. Picked this bad boy up at the American Airlines Museum as well. This one came out to $52.95. Absolutely 
gorgeous aircraft. I, th I have an American A319 with wingtips, not with sharklets. So this is going to be my first sharklet A319. In this, uh, in the regular livery anyways. Absolutely gorgeous. So that is the two models that I picked up at the American Airlines Museum. Now let's jump into the models that I picked up at the convention. So I'm gonna go in the order of which I remember buying all of them. Um, so the first two that I purchased when I walked in there were of course the Her Art Here 757s from NG. There was one particular vendor who had both of them. Uh, I think I paid $98 for the two of these. So they came out to 49 bucks a piece, which that's, I mean, that's under retail for these two models. And they are absolutely stunning. So starting here with New York, super duper beautiful. The art on the back of that aircraft is just, just gorgeous. And of course the scimitar winglets on the 7.5 here, that aircraft is just absolutely stunning. And I am so happy to have been able to get both of these aircraft. Uh, Ever since the local show in Dallas in April, my United fleet has been growing a lot larger than I ever thought it would. I never really collected United models until recently in this San Francisco livery. Not as much going on on the aircraft as on the New York one, but, you know, you got, like, the water, which I'm sure represents the ocean, the palm trees, Golden Gate Bridge with the mountains in the background. The art on these two aircraft is just stunning a bit of a close-up with these two aircraft Let's see if I can't move some stuff out of the way they are absolutely just beautiful so happy to have the two of those in the collection now okay the next aircraft I believe I purchased was this guy right here and According to the sticker here, I purchased this at the Texan Airplane Stores booth. This is, I believe, a Panda Models aircraft. There's no markings on the boxes that could dictate what this is. Uh, but except the wording on the back leads me to believe it's Panda Models. At first, I thought it was like a Boeing store exclusive 1 to 400 scale model. But uh, when I looked up this item number if I could get it to focus. When I looked up this item number right here or product number, the 202 number, uh, I got the listing for Panda models. So this is a United 737-800 in the Star Alliance livery. Uh, it has the old United logo, the Continental Merger. Uh, globe so not the new blue globe it's, it's slightly outdated but it still makes a fine addition to the collection i think i ended up only paying like 40 dollars for this aircraft anyways so absolutely gorgeous the united logo is blacked out on this aircraft it's you know not painted in the united colors which i know normally they are so that is just so beautiful to see that aircraft like that. It reminds me a lot of the Four Seasons 757. Super, super gorgeous. Super happy to add another unique livery aircraft to the fleet. The ever-growing collection. So the next one I purchased was also, again, from the Texan Airplane Store in that batch, and it was this guy. Uh, the Alaska A321neo More to Love. Uh, I believe I paid this price for it. I believe I paid $45.95 
minus, I think, 5% off I got off of this because they had a wheel spin for discounts. And this is the second iteration of the Mortal Love A321 that I own. Uh, well, that I have purchased before, I should say. Uh, I sold the other one to a buddy. I had a, a Gemini Mortal Love A321 that had a broken landing gear that I repaired. And now I have a brand new one, perfect mint condition. And it is absolutely gorgeous. This livery, of course, came around when Alaska merged with Virgin America. So it's a bit of an older livery, but still gorgeous nonetheless. I was super happy to pick that one up from the Texan Airplane Store. Also in that batch of models, I got this, which I never would have purchased a Korean A380, especially since this particular A380, uh, HL7612, is, I believe, in long-term storage or has been retired. Uh, when I looked up its information, it hadn't had a flight in, like, the last six months or year or something like that. And the aircraft, when they put it in long-term storage or retired it, uh, was not in the 50th anniversary logo or livery. But the price ended up being right on this one. I paid... I think I paid 50 bucks for this one uh, off of the 64.95 price. And it's by Aviation 400, which... So this is the first Aviation 400 model that I have owned before. And one thing that took me away when I first got this model is there's no landing gear already installed on the aircraft. Uh, it uses little magnets to stick the gear in there. They provide all of the necessary landing gear in a little plastic bag in the box. I guess that's if you want to display the aircraft in a flight mode or in an on the ground mode. Uh, and included is the magnetic covers for the gear doors as well. So you can display this aircraft with the gear in the up position or gear down. Uh, one thing that took me away on this aircraft a little bit i i mean I, i've never purchased an aviation 400 model before but it included a stand and the reason why this stand wasn't in the box is i i cannot get it to separate um <laughs> i know that's kind of embarrassing but it was borderline impossible to well put it together in the first place and you know i mean i'm not the world's strongest man or anything but i don't consider myself weak either and i cannot get the stand to separate from the base so it's just permanently stuck in there uh this is this is my life now i have a plastic stand that is stuck together for this korean a380 by aviation 400 and i mean you know for a 20 cent stand on a $50 model, I don't really think you can get, uh, get much better than that. <laughs> um, so this aircraft you will probably see, uh, definitely out on the table. Korean, I think is retiring their A380s in 2026. So this will be making appearances and airport updates until then. The price was right on it. I, I don't think I ever would have bought a Korean Air A380, uh, but the price was right on it. So that is the story behind that one. Got to make sure I put the gear back in there. I kind of just tucked it over by the tail. And close it up. There we go. Aviation 400 Korean A380. Now the next two that I purchased... Uh, I honestly just do not even remember who I purchased it from. It was just one of the vendors there. Uh, I paid, I think these were regularly, I think he must have removed the price tag stickers. Yeah, there was price tag stickies I on I think there. these were originally 38 bucks each, and I paid, I think I paid 70 for the pair, so it was going to be like $36 or, yeah, 76 or $78 for the two of them. Uh, that's just what I remember the total being. It was like 78 
76 something like that and i paid 70 for these two together so starting off here we've got the southwest 737 max 8 in the desert gold uh, the heart of keller uh, and this aircraft is of course painted in this livery in real life it's you know the throwback livery to southwest desert gold which is what they had before canyon blue and of course uh, canyon blue came before their current livery the heart livery so this is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous aircraft by gemini uh they have really improved their molds uh the nose gear is a little high for me that's the one problem i have with the new max mold but the max mold does look very good by gemini in my opinion say what you will about gemini jets but uh they've they've come a long way in the last couple of years in in my humble opinion so it is absolutely gorgeous super happy to add the max 8 in the desert gold livery to the collection the spirit of keller which of course honors the founder of southwest airlines herb keller so in that batch with the desert gold 737 max i also picked up the medal of honor a321 by american i've spotted this aircraft before in vegas and here at love love field and here at dfw airport and so again it was one of those situations where the price was right uh it's not one that i've necessarily been looking out for but that's the reason why you go in my opinion that's the reason why you go to shop for models in person as opposed to online because online you're just absolutely overwhelmed with you know with models and different prices you can't negotiate you can't do anything like that and in-person shopping especially at conventions trade shows like this like airliners international you find models that you didn't know you were looking for until you found them i've seen this model for sale at the american airlines museum a couple of times but i never purchased it uh at the convention the price was right the situation was right i got a deal for the two models so i picked it up and it is absolutely just beautiful i am super duper happy to add more american mainline aircraft to the collection so we'll put that one back in its tray and set it aside and then so all of these models all of the models that I just showed you that I purchased at the convention, I purchased on day two. Uh, I was not able to make it to the day one, to day one of the convention. I was out of town. And the only two that I purchased on day three of the convention were both, again, from the Texan Airplane Stores booth. I got 10% off this model and the next model I'm about to show y'all. So starting off here, we have the Lufthansa 787-9. This is the non-flaps down version. He had, uh, Nick at the Texan Airplane Store had both available. And I paid 10% off of this price because I spun the wheel, got 10% off. So Lufthansa 7879 in the new Lufthansa livery. This will mark the second new livery Lufthansa aircraft I have. I have an A340-600 in the new livery Lufthansa. And Gemini may not be able to nail all molds, but their Dreamliner mold is so, so good, in my opinion. Again, say what you will about Gemini jets, but some things they just nail. But they do a pretty good job on their Dreamliners. I mean, this aircraft is just fantastic. So this will be super awesome to add to the collection. I love adding Dreamliners because <clears throat> the whole point of the Dreamliner, well, one of the big selling points of the Dreamliner is you can cover, you know, one-way routes instead of hub-and-spoke routes. So I could send this aircraft to any fictional airport pretty much that I could come up with. Whereas, you know, an A380 or a 747, 777, stuff like that, you'd have to find more reasonable routes for it. And then concludes with the last model, the Japan Airlines A350-900 in the One World livery. So this is, I believe, 
of everything I purchased, the only new airline that I added to my collection this whole weekend. Uh, $57.95 was what I paid for it. There's the NG card. I have a ton of NG cards to redeem. Oh my goodness. I have so many of them to redeem. Um, so this, this aircraft was one that had caught my eye on day two and I never purchased it. And then day three, he still had it. I was like, yep, I'm getting it. So that adds, again, adds Japan Airlines to the collection in the One World livery. The first Japanese airline I've added to my collection, that's a lie. I had an Air Doe 767 300 way back in the day, but uh, that is currently a blank model that I have not decided what to do with it yet. This is the first Japanese airline I have added to my collection in years. Super happy to add this aircraft. You, I love the Alliance liveries on aircraft. This is, of course, a Euro White, which I'm not... For those of you who do not know, I am not the biggest fan of Euro White liveries, Euro White paint schemes. They're just too basic. There's too many of them, in my opinion. So when you get an airline like Southwest that comes along, or even airlines like American, because American has more of a silver base than a Euro White base, uh, it's just, it freshens everything up, in my humble opinion. So really quickly, just wanted to show you guys that Ozark Pan Am cargo route map. And then that's the route of Ozark Airways within the state of Missouri. There's brother's hand. Thank you, brother, for helping. Just some information there. And then these are just two paper route maps. I got these for a buck each, so I'll probably frame these and hang them in the modeling room. Just quickly wanted to show you guys that before we do the outro. And then really quickly right here, I got two of these TWA posters. These are like 60 or $70 posters. I paid five bucks for this one and five bucks for the one behind it. And that's because they had some rips in them, but the rips add a little bit of authenticity. I'm never gonna resell these posters. I'll probably frame one of them, whichever one I deem is just better overall and hang it in the modeling room. So just quickly wanted to show you this and those two posters that I got. So really quickly, just gonna go over one last time everything we got, starting from the top here. Panda 737, Panda United 737-800, NG United 757-200, her art here's, got both New York and San Francisco. NG Alaska A321neo in the More to Love livery. Got the three main series of Airbus and Aerobodies that American flies, A319, A320, A321, A321 in the Medal of Honor livery, and the A319 and A320 came from the American Airlines Museum. Spirit of Herb Keller, Herb Keller, Jesus, and uh, the Desert Gold Southwest 737 Max, all of these, of course, by Gemini. Lufthansa 787-9 by Gemini. JAL A350-900, One World by NG, and then the Korean A380 50th Anniversary by Aviation 400. So thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I know this turned out to be kind of a long one. Um, big things are still coming to the channel. That's the plan anyways. We'll see what kind of progress we make this summer. Uh, we're knee deep in it right now, so Maybe I'll take some YouTube shorts, update you guys on exactly what is happening with the construction on the house. So thank you guys again so very much for watching. I enjoyed meeting some of you guys at Airliners International, by the way. I got to say a quick hi to uh, Haiti over at AS Aviation. Uh, I ran into Noel Phillips, who does trip reports. He's freaking hilarious. And... Uh, there was a couple other guys who I got to meet. I think I saw Red River Aviation in an elevator, maybe. Uh, I don't remember if we said hi or not. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you all so very much for tuning into this video. If you guys were at Airliners International, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed the convention. I will be at the local DFW show 
April of next year. So if you guys are planning on attending, I highly recommend it. It is super fun to, you know, be able to meet so many people who share enthusiasm for aviation like that. So again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Gemini out.